Hey there everyone, Seiji here, founder of the School of Evolutionary Herbalism, and it's Wednesday, it's Mercury Day, so I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about mercury herbs and some of the relationships between this planet and plants. So with mercury in terms of medical astrology, we see the primary organ system rulership of mercury is the lungs and the respiratory system. And this is a really interesting correspondence because Traditionally, Mercury is, is Hermes, right? The messenger of the gods. This is the only god in the Greek tradition that was able to, you know, traverse the upper world, the middle world, and the underworld, and was the messenger, right? The communicator, and kind of relayed the messages and the communications between the gods and humans. And if we think of the respiratory system and what the respiratory system is doing, it's in this constant interaction with the outer world and the inner world, right? With each inhalation and exhalation, the, the outer world comes within us and the inner world goes out of us with our exhalation. And that's a really beautiful reflection of that mercurial dynamic in the way that mercury is really like this bridge between the above and the below. And we see that related in our respiratory system. And we also see Mercury has some relationships to um, really our perception and our awareness and relating to the mind and the nervous system. Now, the moon also relates to the nerves and the brain specifically, but we see that Mercury is more of kind of the electrical impulse through the nervous system, um, along with Uranus, if you're taking into consideration the three outer planets. So we see the mind and perception and the nerves, the respiratory system, the lungs. Uh, these are some of the primary correspondences that we see with mercurial plants. And so one of the, the first remedies that I wanted to talk about is fennel, actually. Fennel is a, a classic uh, plant ruled by mercury. And we see that correspondence in the morphology of the plant. If you look at kind of the leaves of fennel, they have that very soft kind of feathered look to them, like very light and kind of airy in appearance. For those that are familiar with the three doshas of Ayurveda, it's a very vata looking plant, right? And of course, it's very aromatic. The seeds are very, very aromatic. And the interesting thing with aromatic plants is that it's kind of interesting. It's like they exist outside of their physical body, right? If you think, and that's such a reflection of mercury that, you know, here you have this physical plant and it's emitting this aroma that you can smell. Well, that's a, a chemistry. Chemistry from the plant is traveling through air and hitting your olfactory sense and actually entering your body and having a biochemical effect there. So in a way, the plant is in like two places at once. And what a beautiful reflection of mercury. And so fennel has that very aromatic nature to it. And we see medicinally that this plant is used um, primarily as a warming carminative remedy for the digestive system and helping to relieve any cramping or bloating or gas or kind of distension of the belly. And it's that wind force that is very mercurial in nature and helping to dispel that excess of wind. Uh, so fennel is a, is a plant that I really love in relationship to mercury, but my favorite plant for mercury is calamus root. And I talk a lot about calamus. It's one of my favorite herbs. And we see the mercury correspondence in the roots of calamus in that they look just like vocal cords. They look just like a trachea. And so that's a signature in the doctrine of signatures um, that, that that plant has a correspondence to the throat and the voice and the respiratory system. So on a physiological level, it, it is just has been classically used for sore throats, for respiratory ailments and things like that. But where we really see the interesting relationship to mercury is in its Sanskrit name, which is vacha. And vacha means the power to speak or the power of the word. And we see this plant has a really unique kind of esoteric property, um, what in Ayurveda they would call prabhava. It's a special potency of this plant in the way that it teaches us how to communicate, right? If we think of power, right, and our power is in our solar plexus and our ability to speak is in our throat, this plant harmonizes our power to express ourselves. And in order for our power to come up and, and come into the throat, it has to pass through our heart. And so I like to think of calamus as really instilling and, and teaching us, like teaching our inner mercury aspect of our being how to communicate from the heart and how to really 
find the words to express ourselves and to really kind of translate our inner world to the outer world through language. And that is so much of what Mercury is all about. You know, Mercury governs communication and language and our capacity for self-expression. And so Calamus is a really beautiful reflection um, of that mercurial dynamic in that way. The last remedy I want to talk about that I really love for, um, for mercury is osha root, um, Legusticum porteri. Um, there's other species that grow in the northwest, but the porteri is the main one used in, um, in like herbal commerce. But one of the cool ways that osha reflects um, this mercurial aspect is in the morphology we see has this, this really aromatic resinous root connected to a hollow stem that has this umbrella shaped flowers that kind of open up and expand up. And so we see this, this deep big root with that, that hollow stem is oftentimes a signature of, of plants that, um, well, first of all, have a relationship to the hollow tubules of the body. So in this case, the bronchioles and the respiratory tract. Um, but these oftentimes hollow stemmed plants are um, journeying plants, plants that conduct us into the spiritual world. And they're oftentimes considered plants of the dream time. And so we see that root with the hollow stem and then that opening up and out into the upper world. And so what a beautiful reflection of the above and the below and that channel connecting the two together um, is just a really great example of a mercury um, correspondence in the plant's morphology. And then of course, uh, OSHA is this incredible respiratory tract remedy, um, very antiviral, antimicrobial, uh, expectorant. It's uh, antispasmodic and relaxant for the lungs and just really great at facilitating in the removal of kind of really heavy, thick, dense, um, congested mucosal membranes in the respiratory tract. So, so those are just a couple plants I wanted to mention, talk a little bit about mercury today. I'm um, just going to be going through the, the seven days of the week this week. I'm um, just doing a little video series about the planets and their relationship to plants. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about this, head over to astrologicalherbalism.com. I've got some free videos up there, a three free video series. Just put your name and email on the main page there and I'll send you some emails and uh, giving you some videos going more in depth in studying this very unique and ancient and sacred relationship between astrology and herbalism. So thanks so much, everyone. Have a great Wednesday and we'll see you soon.